Hillsboro Village in Nashville has become quite a trendy place for dining, shopping, even living. Recently, Sharon Puckett met a couple who found an old home that would be a good B&B, &B, a place to get away from it all without getting away from the city. Aren't bed and breakfast great getting away from the hustle and bustle of city life, even in the middle of downtown Nashville? Hot town, summer in the city, back of my neck getting dirty and gritty. Okay, maybe not the middle of Nashville, but close here at the Daisy Hill Bed and Breakfast. Actually, Hillsborough Village is the best part of all of Nashville with the Village of course we think and, so. <laughs> and Vanderbilt University and Belmont and David Lipscomb and everything is just right in this neighborhood. It's just phenomenal. Daryl and Linda Bengson are the proud owners of Daisy Hill, two business professionals who chose to follow their dream. Daryl was in the hotel industry for 10 years from the time we graduated high or college to 1983 when we moved to Nashville. And we always thought we would like to do bed and breakfast, but there were kids in college and all that sort of stuff that gets in the way. So we thought, we'll just keep looking for just the right house. And we traveled quite a bit. We traveled to Europe and uh, just here in the States and stopping at bed and breakfast and just decided that this was the right time, it was the right house. Our, our realtor said, this is it. You've got to come take a look at this house. It's perfect. And it was. It was just the perfect house. Good morning. Come in. Good come in. You. Come in. Good, Good morning. Good morning. The house was built in 1925. And the first family that moved in here, the names were Lecklider. And Mr. John Lecklider was the city attorney for the city of Nashville. So he had, in the, which is the library now, was actually had law books in there and a round table and things of that nature to practice for his law practice. We wanted to have a hotel feel as far as the comfort of coming and going because there's all different viewpoints on that. You know, some people say, well, you have to be in at 10 o'clock and they lock, then they lock the door. And we didn't want that. We wanted to, to feel that they had privacy and that we're not on top of them all the time and they can enjoy the comfort of the home without us being there. But when they need us or they want to talk to us or they want us to be around, we want to be accessible to them also. We wanted to make a complete event, so when they came to Nashville, the Daisy Hill would be a really good place for them to relax and stop and spend an evening. We have three different bedrooms. So we have this Scottish room, we have the Scandinavian room, and we have the French country room. Each one has its own decor. The Scottish room has tartans right from Edinburgh, Scotland, right on the strip. But the jacuzzi tub is in the Scottish room a uh, queen size four post bed beautiful a uh, little bit darker uh, more more castle like the french country is lighter and brighter and the colors are, are more flowery and um, yellows and greens and whites and that room has the clawfoot tub and separate shower beautiful very comfortable in the scandinavian room We've made the beds just as they do in Norway and Sweden and Denmark and Finland and so many of the Nordic countries with the duvet on top of the bed. And the mattress is a feather mattress. Um, that duvet sits on top, no top sheet. So people really do get the feel that they're in Europe in when Europe. they come visit us. So we've really tried to make the rooms um, sort of hold up to their name. The only thing the Bengsons seem to enjoy more than their B&B is interacting with their guests. Oh, we've had wonderful guests. <laughs> we have um, artists, we have authors, we have senators, we've had many, many guests who just come from all walks of life. So it's, it's amazing the kind of, of opportunities I think that Bed and Breakfast offers to get to know other people and, and to see that, that people love to travel just like you do. Joyce and Atome and Brenda Zwalen made new friends during their stay they also strengthen family ties. We're here with sisters, and we just knew that this was something that we would remember forever as opposed to being in a big hotel that's so commercialized. And we knew this had a piano, and that was really important for us to be able to sing, and, <laughs> and just, to, just to 
grow closer again together and have that special time with our sisters. It's been incredible. We got to sing a lot. That's something that ties us together. And we'll go away remembering that for a long time. And those words are music to Linda's ears. We want them to come back and feel good about being here in Nashville, being at Daisy Hill Bed and Breakfast, and just take with them the feel that we're family and they've got a home in Nashville. This world needs